In this video, we're going to look at how animation clips can be used in a timeline track to sequence different animations on a character and how to transition between them. We're also going to take a look at how we can convert our recorded data into clips that we can work with. Let's imagine we're wanting to put together a cutscene or a dialogue system. We have a number of different animations and we would like to play them on our characters to make it look like they are interacting with one another. In this example, we're going to build a scene using Timeline and sequence different animation clips together to achieve this. We're also going to sequence together some recorded camera shots to cut between the two characters. In this scene, we have two character models, both with humanoid rigs. In our game, we want to mirror the look of a cinematic dialogue system. So, I've set up both characters to stand opposite one another in the scene. I've also positioned a camera behind each character, looking towards one another. We also have a timeline set up. We have a track assigned to each character. The game object assigned contains the animator with their corresponding avatar, allowing Timeline to map the animation clips we'd like to use directly to their avatar. We also have a number of tracks for both of our cameras. If we play the game now, we can see that not much happens. So let's add some animation and bring some life to these characters. In the Timeline Editor window, let's right-click on the animation track of one of our characters and choose Add from Animation Clip. From here, we can simply select the animation we wish to use. Alternatively, we can drag an animation clip from the Project window directly into Timeline. We can drag the clip around to different positions in the timeline to define when we would like the animation to start playing. We can also click and drag the mouse from either side of the clip to shorten or extend the clip. Let's add the same clip to our other character. We can duplicate the clip by pressing Ctrl D on our keyboard on Windows or Command D on our keyboard on Mac, or alternatively by right clicking on the clip and choosing Duplicate. We can then drag this clip onto the track for our other character. Now when we play the scene, our characters both look much more alive. Ideally, we want this animation to keep repeating as the timeline continues. To do this, we can set the Post Extrapolate setting on the clip. The Pre and Post Extrapolate settings are just how the track behaves if no other clips are sequenced before or after a clip starts or ends. Let's change this from Hold to Continue. Now, if we preview our timeline, we can see that the characters continue to animate after the clips end. Alternatively, to repeat the clip, we can also drag the end of the clip handle past its end point and the clip will continue to play. So let's add another animation clip to our character to transition to. Initially, when placed side by side, the previous clip will simply cut to the next one. If we drag our current clip towards the end of the previous clip, a blend transition is created. The further into the previous clip we move, the longer the transition will take. It's worth experimenting with this to get the best timing for your transitions. We can click and drag between the start and end point of each clip during a transition to further fine tune it. It's also worth noting that we can change the way that the clips blend between one another by adjusting the blend curve settings on each of our clips. By default, these are set to automatic curves. If we wish to change the blend curve, we can simply choose the manual option, click on the curve, and then either choose a preset curve or create a custom curve. This is the basics of sequencing animation clips using the Timeline Editor window. You can continue to add clips and transition between them as desired. Let's suppose we have some camera data recorded and we'd like to cut between different movements or positions on the same camera. In this example, I've recorded two different types of shots from the second camera that I'd like to convert to clips so I can have the flexibility to adjust their timings better with the rest of my sequence. To do this, 
we can simply right click on our recorded data and choose Convert to Clip Track on both tracks. Now we can use the recorded data from both tracks just as we would any other clips, allowing us to build a track specifically to cut between different recorded animations, such as these camera shots, with ease. In our additional video, we'll discuss how to trigger a timeline sequence such as this from a custom script. For more information on the Timeline Editor window and its features, as well as more Unity tutorials, please follow the links below to visit our Learn site. Thanks for watching.